it. Um, well, I'm here with a Polish uh, SRG, which came in this girly bag, <laughs> pink polka dot bag. Um, this is a Polish SRG, my first one, or probably be my only one. Um, this is, uh, I think, menu five, I think, or menu one, not sure. Not sure, should know really. <laughs> um, there's a date, 31st. The 7th 2018, so that runs out in July. I've read the English instructions, that just tells you what the contents are. And all I can say is I'm bloody excited. Uh, I can't, seriously can't wait to get my hands on this stuff. Um, I was going to do an unbagging video, but it tells you what everything is. So there was not so much point in me getting it out really, but... Um, because there's, there's so much stuff in it. It's like an English ration box, the ORP ration box. There's so much stuff in there. In the, I didn't know, you know, there'd be that much stuff. But it's, it's quite heavy. And you wouldn't want to carry this around on your back, would you? <laughs> Imagine that, carrying one or two of these in your pack. Whoa, serious weight there. But, um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm excited because I want to see what's inside. I mean, you know, what? I know what's inside because I've just read all the contents there, so I know exactly what's what. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be four. It will be four videos. This one, if I go ahead and unbag this thing, it will be this one. Then probably breakfast, dinner, and tea because I'm sure there's enough in here to do three videos. It's like the ORP box. Same thing, three videos. But I'm going to have to do a bit of research as well over the time to make up a menu for each item because I don't know what a, a Dutch, um, sorry, a Polish soldier would have. I how do I say Dutch for? Um, a Polish soldier would have for breakfast, dinner, or tea. I know other guys have done videos. I mean, I could go and watch all the other videos. Um, I'll just put Polish SRG into um, or menu five or one or whatever it is um, into um, YouTube search. And um, that would give me a guide to what um, other people have done. So between now and two weeks' time, which I'll review this in about two weeks, I think, I'll look at every, everyone's videos and compare them all, then try and make up, write down a bit of paper, what's for breakfast, what's for dinner, what's for tea. So what I'll do is I will go ahead, even though I know what's in it, you guys are probably excited to see, because I am bloody excited right now. Uh, ah, that thing's up crinkled. I can't get it straight for some reason. So what we'll do, we'll cut the sucker from the back. I know you can't see it, but uh, I'll pierce it with a knife. If, it, if it'll pierce, as it did. And I'll just um, rip it open and we'll get the contents out, which I'm pretty excited. I think it's in a tray, or do you have to... No, it's not in a tray. I thought it was in some kind of tray or something. As you can see, there's those famous cups of crack uh, and the crisp breads um, and the heating stove. So that's what the Polish soldier has to do. He has to open this and just take out the item. So what we'll do, I, I've got a feeling this is going to be a friggin' lot of stuff. But, you know, this thing is a nightmare. It will not straighten out. <clears throat> Come on. Right, okay then. So we'll go ahead and do this. Why, why not? What the hell? This will be four videos then, guys. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. We've got those cups with the sweets, or Americans call candy. Um, I think a vitamin C and stuff like that in there. I'm not going to open those. I'll wait till the video. But So there we go. We've got those lovely cups that I've heard so much about. We've got crisp breads. Uh, yeah, we've got crisp breads here. Uh, 5th the 19th, so they actually keep a lot longer till next year. Well, I've had crisp breads back in the 90s when my dad worked for Marks and Spencers uh, back in the 90s. He's been there like 25 years, but of course he's uh, no longer with us anymore. He, we went in 2008 from cancer, so yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who've lost parents, they know exactly how that feels. It sucks. But T used to bring me home crisp breads from Marks and Spencers. Uh, and I used to enjoy putting jam on them and stuff like that. 
But anyway, so here is the heater which I've seen so many times. It's nice to have this in my hand at last. Yeah, nice to have that. <laughs> so I can do a little bit of research to see them by watching other people's videos. Right, so we've got three cutlery sets. There's one. I think they're so awesome, those, just having little cutlery sets. You know, if that was me, I'd probably just have a spork and, you know, there's number two. Number two. And there's number three. So we've got three cutlery sets. If that was me, I'd just use a wet wipe and clean the stuff down and just use the same one over and over again. Uh, I'll take it this is a beverage powder. I'd have to uh, translate that to see what that is. It's probably some uh, something, I don't know. I mean, it's obviously some either soup or beverage powder. We'll have to uh, translate it. Okay, and that I, I know that for a fact that's a cereal bar. Apricot cereal bar on the bottom there. So, that's, so we have that for breakfast, definitely. And there's that famous chocolate bar which I've seen, uh, who, who did it last? Uh, Michael Green did one like this. So go and check Michael Green out, because he's a great guy. As well as Duncan512 underscore, what we call that thing on, yeah, that line on the bottom. Uh, food and drink. Two great English guys. And where's Ras Metal Lymphy gone? Where is Mr. Lymphy? I've not heard from him in ages. Or the blogger. Both guys have vanished. I don't know why. What's going on, guys? Get back to me, where? I wonder what's going on. But yeah, you've got 60% coca, or cacao if you're French. Um, that is going to be awesome, because as you know, uh, I do like the dark chocolate bars here in England. <laughs> they are awesome. That's probably uh, one of the mains, I, I would say. But without um, translating it, I'm not really going to know. That's probably one of the jams. I, mean, I like the idea that they use these bags. It's very handy. If that has an accident, like, I think it's Michael Green or Flanker Tanker as well. He, I think he did one of these just recently, not that long ago. I think, I think yeah, it was destroyed or, or Michael Green. I can't, sorry guys, I can't remember. I can't remember who, who, who did what. I should know, really. I said, oh, God, my God, there's a lot of stuff in there. Wow. Uh, there's another beverage powder or something. Instant. I've seen that's beverage, yeah, sounds like a beverage powder. That's two beverage powders, and you've got uh, instructions, I'll take it. Uh, if you can read, if I can translate that, I'll read all the contents list. Um, that's probably going to help me make up menus. What else do we have? We have another crisp breads. Yeah. They run out 2019 as well, so you can keep. I could keep that till next year if I don't eat it, obviously. And uh, you know, I said I've had crispers from the nineties. That's honey. I know that for a fact because the flanker tanker. You got the honey, honey thing there, wooden spoon, the wooden honey spoon. So I know that's honey for a fact. Uh, I'll say flanker tank or Michael Green. I can't remember which one of the guys it was. Had this one literally all over this pack. It was destroyed. <laughs> Such a shame. But you just don't know what these, po these posty people are doing. Do they lob your stuff? Or, which I know if I used to be a delivery driver, but I never threw people's stuff. I slid it. You know, gently slid it. Uh, that's one of the dinners. What that is, uh, I have no idea at this precise moment in time. Till I translate it all. I don't even have, have, have a translator on my phone or my tablet. That's another beverage powder. That's three beverage powders, I think. What's this? I don't think that's better than that. That's probably soup or something. Maybe. While stab in the dark. Uh, I know you guys are looking at this. You, you probably obviously know what this is because you've done it and I don't. I'm going to watch your videos again. <laughs> Just to make sure I know, I know what's what. But of course, uh, Polska. Yeah. We have quite a lot of Polska people where I live, working in the farm, farm fields, farmers fields even. Banana, I think it's banana, maybe. I've actually forgotten what that is. 
but you know, like I said, I'm going to translate them all. Try, I'll try and translate them all. Uh, oh, that's probably maybe lemonade that the limos lim limonski maybe. I don't know, maybe uh, lemon lemonade. Who knows? Don't know. <laughs> I will translate them anyway. I'll try. If the translators work, of course. Uh, that's got a little bit dinted. Uh, that's not good. But uh, that Leko, I can't even pronounce that because I'm not Polish. I don't, I don't know any Polish at all. Apart from da. <laughs> Which is obviously Russian because, you know, went back to the war and stuff. Uh, I, I, that was on um, the box on the outside. So what I'm going to have to do... And that one's dented as well, look. Whoa, look at that mash, man. You think, how what that's been through to get like that. That's a fillet. That's chicken. Yeah, chicken and cheese sauce. Yeah, that, I know that for a fact. That's chicken and cheese sauce. That's two main meals. And the bag's nearly empty, guys. I hope you don't mind this. Uh, and everyone's favourite, Blanca Tanker. He calls them tank tracks. I call them... Concrete slabs. <laughs> I know, uh, Foreign MRE did a uh, videos on this, I think, um, how trying to crush them. I have my own idea. It involves a tank. <laughs> As you know, I can't eat because my teeth are just not that strong enough, and they will break definitely. I, don't, I can't afford to lose any more. Um, I think this is upside down. Yeah, upside down. Um, I have a, I have an idea for this. I want to run a tank over over one of them, um, but I need my legs and my foot to be fixed so I can go and do it. So uh, and that they'll stay in the pack, and they, you know I don't like them. So well, you know they, they're all right, but you you can't. Well, there's two packs there, so you know we can uh, have two videos if one goes wrong. <laughs> and the bag is empty. There you go, one empty bag. Right, so that's the contents of menu five. Um, calling this menu five, uh, the Polish SRG. Uh, that's a lot, that's a lot, lot of stuff, guys. Isn't it? That's a lot of stuff. Wow, about two or three main meals, and two crisp bread packs. Plus, you've got candy and loads of cups to make you drink in, which is awesome. I think that's such a great idea. I don't know why the English don't do that. I mean, you know, you know I, I know. You know, same as you can't sort of swap over to one of these bags, you know, have instead of a box, have an MRE bag. Um, dark chocolate, cereal bar, apricot, definitely looking forward to those. I will read all the instructions and I'll translate everything. What I'll do is I'll go from po English to Polish and I'll write down in English what each thing is. So I can refer back to it because by the time the video comes, I'm probably going to forget. So I'll put the stuff back in the bag. Um, no well, so I'll, I'll translate it first, and then uh, what I'll do is, as I said, I'll write the English here, then the Polish, then what, what the English means. Uh, sorry, now I'll start again. <laughs> sorry, guys. What I'll do is I'll write the Polish name, then the English translation of what that meal or particular item is. So if I, um, if I can translate it, of course, if. You know, so I've got, I'll have to watch other people's videos yet, so I can um, see what they've done. Uh, come up with menus and stuff like that, and dinner and tea and breakfast. So, I mean, I know there's probably going to be coffee and tea in here. That's probably in those um, packs. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It should be. Nothing left in the bag. So, there we go. Um, that was on me. The Michael Green's or Flanker Tankers video. But I can't remember what that is. I should know, really. I should know. Terrible memory. Right, okay then guys and girls, that's it, I appreciate you, thanks for watching, and I will uh, translate this over two weeks, and then we'll review this in about two weeks time, it's probably going to be three other videos on top of this one, um, unfortunately that's the way it is, because I don't have a camera, a video camera to record, you know, and pause it, so I can, you know, go away, or, you know, show it off like video cameras, and they, they, they pause, and you stop them, and you just carry on. I can't do that. Once I press the stop button on the tablet, it's it's gone. It's ended. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Right, so there we go. I uh, hope you didn't mind that. That just had to be done because I'm quite excited. 
and I can't wait to get my fingers on this bloody chocolate bar. That's going to be awesome. Whoa, I mean it's only 60% and that's pretty good because the French are way over 70 I think. Or the French bar was 60 as well I think, one was 70 I think, one of the rations I had. Anyway, so that's enough talking from me. Um, thanks for stopping by, thanks for all the comments and likes on the last video. I appreciate that. I hope all of you have a great weekend. And I will upload this to my computer and then it will be uh, available later on. If not, um, you know, all good. Um, and then we'll come back. Yeah, we'll come back in a few weeks' time and I'll translate all of this into a menu. And I'll do my own version. I'll try not to copy anybody else. I will try and put my own take on this. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. Two thumbs up. Yes, yes. Right. A foreign MRA, uh, of course, go and get your stuff from Foreign MRA from Martin Nina, obviously. And they did one of these as well. I'm going to check out their video as well. I think they did one of these, or maybe two, or whatever. I will go and check their videos out as well. That will help me make up menus. Right, so I'm off. That's it. I'll be back this afternoon with a American snack review. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be four videos for this Polish ration because, you know, I don't have the right stuff. Nothing I can do about it. Right, hope you don't mind that. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye for now. Appreciate that. And I will see you uh, next in, in two weeks' time for this, by back this afternoon for my American Snack Review. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye for now.